Mutations in Parkin cause a familial form of Parkinson's disease. The Parkin protein protects neurons from cell death. In order to elucidate how Parkin achieves its protective function and how Parkinson's associated mutations inactivate it, the teams of Dr. Gehring at McGill University and Dr. Fan at the Montreal Neurological Institute have determined its three-dimensional structure using a technique called X-ray crystallography. The Parkin protein forms a compact structure of 10 nanometer in diameter, that is, one hundred thousandth of a millimeter. Its structure consists of five parts or domains named UBL, ring zero, ring one, IBR, and ring two. Over 120 mutations in Parkin have been identified. These mutation sites, some of which are shown here as blue spheres, are found throughout the protein, which implies that all domains are required for its normal function. The activity of Parkin consists in transferring a small molecule called ubiquitin onto a substrate, which signals its degradation. The C431 site in ring 2 is required for this activity and its mutation causes Parkinson's disease. C431 is occluded by the ring 0 domain, here in green, suggesting that the protein is auto-inhibited and requires rearrangements in order to expose that site. The structure also allows us to understand how its activity might be controlled. In order to transfer ubiquitin, Parkin must interact with another protein called UBCH7, which carries ubiquitin. The structure reveals that a small fragment, which we call the repressor element of Parkin, or REP, interferes with the binding of UBCH7. The REP is anchored through W403, which inserts into a pocket in ring 1. Our structure therefore predicts that an artificial mutation of W403 should enhance the binding of proteins like UBCH7 and thus stimulates Parkin's activity, whereas mutation of C431 should abolish it. In cells, Parkin's activity can be assessed by its localization to mitochondria, a cellular organelle responsible for energy production. Parkin acts like a watchdog for cells by sensing damaged mitochondria and targeting them for degradation. Live cell microscopy shows that upon addition of a compound that damages mitochondria, Parkin's distribution becomes gradually more punctate as it localizes to mitochondria. The W403A mutant localizes notably faster than the normal Parkin, whereas the C431S mutant fails to localize. Thus, our structure provides a framework to enhance Parkinson's activity for therapeutics and Parkinson's disease.